Okay, next on the list is SDR to HDR. SDR is standard dynamic range and HDR is high dynamic range. So let's open this up. Okay, what do we have here? So essentially compared to SDR, HDR holds more range in the middle gray values, shadows, and pushes the brightest and darkest values further apart. The only limitation is if you do not have an HDR monitor, you will not be able to see these changes occur accurately. So this tool is really dependent on your viewing source. Newer televisions and screens do have HDR, but not all screens currently have HDR capabilities. So this feature may not be useful for you if you do not have the proper viewing display. But let's assume you do. There is only one AI model that we have, and that's the Hyperion. That is our HDR model. The next tool we have is the Adjust Exposure. What this allows you to do is to modify the exposure from the, from the origin starting point, which origin is going to be our zero. And you could essentially double the amount of exposure to your video. So I'm just going to go to the extreme on that. Um, boost saturation, you could double the amount of saturation that's there. I like to keep things a little more realistic and natural, so I tend to stay on the low end. But if you are selling products or trying to push the video for animation, things like that, you, there's a tendency to want to push the saturation a little bit more so it's more eye popping. I understand that. You probably want to push that a little bit more. The highlight threshold slider sets the lowest intensity level in linear color that has been determined by the highlight of the Hyperion AI model. We recommend starting at 0.7. This is kind of a very safe zone to be. Lowering this value can cause color shifts and large contrast changes. It's most noticeable in skin tones, which is why it's recommended to start at the default of 0.70. And then also lifting this too far can also modify color. So you first want to start here and then adjust accordingly. And as a reminder, in order to view any of the parameters that have been adjusted here, you will need to render a preview. So we'll start from here, which may only be visible if you have an HDR monitor. Before, after, before, after. So now I got a little more variance and details in here. And that covers the SDR to HDR section.